My next guest is a UFC heavyweight fighter with a 28 and 10 record. It is Stefan Skyscraper Struve joining me here on the program. Stefan, how are you? I'm good, man. Good. Thanks for having me. Just no got um, just got back home from breaking shit down in my new house all day. So, yeah, that's great. And of course, uh, you're you're back in Holland, uh, not in Florida right now. It's about 10 o'clock where you are right now, and it's about four o'clock here in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So uh, we're definitely uh, making this happen with the power of Skype. So I appreciate it. And uh, how long have you been back home in the Netherlands? Was that right after your last fight, or did you just go recently? I stayed um, for like a week. Um, on, uh, I went to the West Coast to see some friends because I wasn't able to go uh, to the West Coast uh, the last couple of years. Um, spent a lot of time on the East Coast training. And then uh, the time that I wasn't training, I was back home in Holland. So um, it was good to be um, at the in, in, uh, you know uh, around the West Coast for a little bit, and then back to Vegas for a couple of days, and then back home. So Excellent. And how often do you go back and forth between uh, where you train in Florida and back home in Holland? Um, I try when I when I have a fight lined up. I try to go to Florida eight to ten weeks for a, a good full camp, um, and now um, you know it's a little over three three weeks since the fight. So uh, just still recovering. Got a couple small things that I need to take care of, and um, yeah, we're just looking for uh, you know what options there are for for the next fight, and you know just. Chilling a little bit, just bought a new house and um, building, you know, has just started today after um, breaking stuff down for like a week. So all good, man. Is it easier being as tall as you are to renovate a house because you can reach pretty much anything? Yeah, definitely. Right now it's definitely, although, you know, people give me the 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 freaking annoying jobs and they tell me I cannot reach it and you can reach it. I'm like, nah. <laughs> We got a we got a freaking ladder, but it's all good, you know. Yeah, good stuff. So, um, you mentioned the last time we saw you was against Andre Arlovsky, and I know uh, things didn't go your way in that fight. Uh, just looking back at your performance, what do you sort of take away from that fight? Um, you know, it was, it was really frustrating. Um, I think um, everybody who, who watched the fight um, kind of sees that um, I wasn't fighting to my potential. You know, like there was a lot more to be done by. Uh, you know, from my side, and um, it's um, you know, unfortunately, that happens too. Um, where uh, where me and my team are looking at um, what went wrong, what needs to be you know done to improve, and um, what could have done better, what I could have done better that night, and um, yeah, make sure that the next one is going to be great. You know, because the, the fight before that I lost, but it was a great fight. Um, this fight, um, there were. Um, opportunities to do more but um unfortunately it didn't go my way and um what i said we're looking at what went wrong and um i'm um i'm working with my um my strength conditioning coaching in holland already um with some some things that i need to get fixed before i fight again and um yeah man we'll, we'll go from there and you mentioned i mean you don't have to go into specifics but as far as uh, you know recovery and stuff are you back like full-time to training or are you just sort of easing back into it just with some of the injuries you've been dealing with yeah, just easing back into it. Um, I've been um, been dealing with a, a back slash hip injury for about a little over a month now, which is really annoying, really really holding me back. Uh, I think if you watch the fight, you can really see me um, load up on pretty much everything I do, uh, kicks, punches. Um, so um, that was that was also a very frustrating thing in that fight because I um, it kind of felt like. I was wearing elastic bands, the ones you want to train with, but in this case, you don't want to fight with them. Um, you know, my hips and my back would, would just not lose, and uh, when that's the case, I just, you know, don't perform, don't function. So, Is it different with the fact you're so tall? Like, do, are you more prone to getting injured or anything like that, or, or is it just the same as anyone else? I'm just, I'm generally curious because you're such a big guy. Um, well, you know, for me, I don't know any different, you know, so like, uh, of course I'm a big guy and, you know, now and then, um, my, my, my lower back and my hips are, are an issue. It's, it's not horrible, but definitely when, when they're not, um, as mobile as I'm used to, then, you know, it, it takes away uh, a good part of my game. But, um, for the rest, you know, you deal with it. I don't know. Like, I don't complain a lot. You know, like I just bite through it. You know, what we do is not easy. It's it's a hard sport. It's hard on your body. And, um, 
you know, complaining only makes things worse, in my opinion. So I'm trying to be as smart as I can always with training. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a tough game. It's a tough way to make a paycheck. So. And one of the things I know is very important after a fight, any fight, is uh, recovery. Uh, what's sort of your go-to for recovery uh, after a fight like the one we just had, you just had with Andre Olovsky? Um, You know, obviously a lot of um, time off after one. Not a lot, a lot of time off, but some some good time off to uh, relax the body and the mind. And uh, I'm real big on CBD. CBD has been um, a huge part of my recovery. Um Last year in January, I had um, a shoulder surgery, and it was the the first major surgery I had in my career. And um, when I had it, I, I, I you know I've heard about CBD and um, the the benefits, but I've never used it. And uh, especially after the shoulder injury, I did um, rehab once or twice a day after a while. And in the first month, you are doing stuff like three times a week and the rest of the time you don't have a lot of things to do. You're just sitting and um, you're sleeping in an upright position with pillows on your arm and it just, you know, it depresses, de- depresses you, especially when you're used to moving around as much as, you know, as any other athlete. And um, it, um, yeah, it just annoyed the shit out of me. So I, um, I also, you know, they, they gave me a bunch of painkillers. Um, the heavy stuff, uh, and for the, f- the first two days, I needed it because it was really painful. But then I was like, uh, you know, it turns me into, into a zombie as well. So um, I looked into CBD, started using it, and um, it's been uh, man, it's uh, it's 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 amazing. You know, it 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 doesn't only you know help with the pain; it just relaxes your mind, your body, and it really does help with recovery and healing your body as well. So it's. It's got a ton of benefits, and uh, for every every fighter, every um, combat athlete, every you know football player, whatever, um, it's got so many benefits. Uh, n- n- besides the ones you know I just mentioned, you know um, everybody's aware of the CTE. You know it's a it's a big thing the last couple of years, and it's definitely something that has come up in my mind. Um, and uh, there's a lot of research going on, and it really seems that. Um, for the brain, C, uh, CBD is a real big thing too. So I'm, I'm real big on it, and I think it's going to be uh, a very, you know, important thing for uh, for more athletes. They, uh, you know, in my opinion, everybody should look into it if they think it can benefit uh, can benefit them. It's awesome. How did you initially get linked up with taking CBD oil? Like, what was sort of uh, how, how did you end up uh, using it? You know, I I um I'm real big into uh, um, things that, um, can, uh, can, you know, help an athlete out or, you know, any other human being, but, uh, I don't like chemicals. I don't like me- medication. I don't like, you know, all the stuff that, uh, doctors prescribe and, you know, it's, it's got a lot of side effects and people suffer from, from other things when they start taking that. So I've always looked into things that can help me as an athlete, um, the natural way. So, um, you know, I started reading about it, and um, you know, my dad um, passed away from cancer four and a half years ago. And um, at the end of his um, illness, they had him on uh, methadone, which is pretty much um, heroin, so um, just to uh, control the pain, because you know, it was out of control. It was nothing we could do really, and um, the pain wasn't going away anymore. Like, didn't matter how big the dose was. But the pain would not stop, you know, and he was, um, of course, very um, emotional and depressed um, when all that stuff was going on. Um, and, um, you know, I, I started reading about all the things that could help him. And one of the things was uh, CBD. And all, uh, obviously, in his uh, case, there was uh, a bunch of THC in there, too. And, you know, the CBD I use got no THC in it. So that's a great thing. But. Um, he pretty much had the best month of being sick for like two years. And, uh, the last month he had on that, he, uh, he did so well. He slept, he ate, he felt good. He, he smiled, you know? So, um, I, um, you know, I remember that of course, um, as a very, you know, positive thing, very positive effect on him. Um, I never really looked into it cause I, uh, you know, I didn't want to get, you know, high and you know, of course cbd has just been legalized by um 
uh, USADA and uh, other doping agencies for uh, for use for athletes. Um, but the THC is still, you know, not legal. But you know, I'm not I'm not interested in the THC. The CBD part is just amazing because it's got so many, you know, great benefits for you know not only fighters but a lot of people with um, you know illnesses and all sorts of you know things. It just helps so much. It's it, it really is amazing. You know, my mom used to sleep like three, four hours a night, and then I, uh, you know, at first she was like, "No, I don't want to take this stuff." You know, it's it's uh, made from cannabis and all that, and like they, you know, um, they uh, they made it seem like it was a real bad thing to to use to take or whatever, you know. But you know, I, I started giving her the CBD and now she's sleeping through the night and you know she's got arthritis it helps with the arthritis and it's all natural it's got no side effects it's it's freaking amazing you know and it 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 relaxes you it you know if you if, if something pops up um that would normally stress you out you deal with it you know it, it helps you deal with the things it's it's just great man it's it's an awesome product Good to hear. I'm glad that you're seeing a lot of benefits in it because I know, uh, again, you know, recovery is such an important part of the sport and glad to see uh, you're really uh, getting a lot out of it. Um, but, but sticking with, uh, you know, kind of recovery and everything else, uh, what, what's next for you at this point? Um, have you been speaking to your management or speaking with the UFC as far as uh, a next fight or when you want to get back in there? Yeah, you know, like um, the thing um, with my back has been bothering me for like for like a month now. So I really want to get that fixed. Um, you know, I'm working, doing a lot of exercises and stretches and trying to loosen it up. And um, it's it's been paying off because I'm, you know, I've been able to uh, brush my teeth and stuff again and, you know, wash my mouth after that. So that's good. But uh, it still needs a little bit of work. Obviously, I, I just got the key for my new home, so we've been, you know, breaking shit down for for the last week. So that has not been very helpful, um, putting myself in the positions to do all that stuff. But um, you know, I feel good. My uh, my uh, my mind is clear, and uh, I'm ready to uh, to get back in there in like two three months. I think I'm still in shape, uh, feeling good. Um, I'm just yeah, we're talking to the UFC, looking at some dates. I know there's some some dates coming up in Europe. Um, I know there is um, uh, a card in Liverpool, May 27. Um, Liverpool is where I earned my UFC contract when I was when I was 20 years old. I won the Cage Gladiators um, heavyweight title by beating uh, three UFC vets, and um, at that point, UFC was like, oh, "We need to sign this guy." So um, Liverpool is my old stomping grounds. So. I uh, I definitely would like to fight there, and uh, we uh, we are looking at the option of maybe making that happen. See if I can can make it healthy, and um, if it's a smart thing to do. But I would definitely love to fight there. So, any opponents in mind? The heavyweight division seems pretty wide open at the moment, uh, as far as opponents. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. You know that that last performance was um, frustrating, and uh, there was uh, opportunity for more, but you're. Um, you know, you're as good as your last fight, and things can change real fast. One good performance, and you're right back in there. You know, you're, you're right back where you want to be. So um, I haven't really looked at opponents, um, specific opponents, but, um, yeah, anybody who's available pretty much. You know, we're, um, we're in talks with the UC, seeing what they want, seeing if it worked for us. Um, we'll see, man. You know, what I say, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm feeling good. Um the first couple of days after the fight, I was so frustrated. Um, but um, you know, I um, I talked to my friends and the people that are important to me, and um, I talked to my team, and we know that um, you know with just a couple small adjustions, and um, I could have done so much better. You know, so it was just a frustrating performance. But you know, any night, especially in the heavyweight division, you know, things can be very different. So. Last question for you here, and again, I appreciate the time, Stefan. Uh, what are you watching right now on Netflix? Are you watching any TV right now uh, uh, sorry, you know, during that. this time up? Uh, I'm watching uh, the Holland soccer game. And, okay. Uh, it's all about I, sports uh, then. You know what, man? Like Our soccer team has always been big, but we haven't gone to the European Championship and the World Championship. We, we're, this summer we're missing two, and now we're just, we just scored three against Portugal. So I'm like, dude, what's going on? <laughs> But um, right now on, uh, well, Walking Dead is back with the new episodes. Uh, I need to start a new series. Cause, have, you, uh, have you seen Ozark yet? Have you seen Ozark? 
Dude, there's there's too many good series. That's 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 the big problem. There's like 20, 20 different ones I've heard of that people tell me about, and I'm like, dude, stop, stop, not another one, you know. So I uh, I need to start, but I don't know yet. Have you seen? Actually, you know what one you might like, just because you uh, you know you live in Florida part of the time. Have you seen Bloodline? Uh, no. Okay, it's about this rich family that lives in Florida, and it's you know it's got all this drug stuff that goes on and everything. You might find it interesting as someone who lives in Florida because it's uh, it's based all around um, you know kind of uh, I think it's Key West or one of those areas out there, but oh, yeah. it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, I need to uh, I need to start a new one. But the thing is, when I start one, I cannot stop. Right, and then, and then you waste watching. all your time. Yeah. And then I need to no, I need to get up at like nine a.m. to start training. I'm still watching that shit at four in the morning <laughs> while I should be asleep for like six hours. So that's I'm always be, I'm always being careful with that. So good stuff. Okay, well, uh, Stefan, I really appreciate the time. Uh, just remind people uh, where they can get a hold of you on social media, and if you got any uh, shoutouts or sponsors or anything like that, man, the floor is yours. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, follow my Twitter, Instagram on, uh, at Stefan Struve and for the people in Europe, um, there's a big, um, convention in like two weeks, the, um, FIBO in, uh, Cologne, Germany. Um, I'm going to be there hanging out, um, with, uh, Nutribolics to, uh, spend some time with the fans and have a good, a good time there. So if you, uh, if you're able to go, come say hello.